Hello everyone, I am Master Arbel Matt, and today I will be telling you another story. <laughs> well, this one I can trust my memories a bit more, because some of them I've either omitted or changed, because remember, I've learned that so far, our harshest critics can be ourselves, and depending on the situation, could be my masochistic side making it worse for me to hate myself even more. But these ones I can trust my memories even more. Furthermore, this story is about the way. Okay, private schools are incredibly toxic, right? I won't tell you what religion, I won't tell you. Oh, where it is, but private schools are very toxic. Incredibly toxic, especially if they are very religious. Now, growing up, I remember I first went here to the place where I live. I was fourth grade, and I met a particular teacher who did not like me, or at least three, I think, or two. One teacher would make fun of me for my movements. I acted erratic. I would flap my hands around. I would walk around school, pace around without any, without anyone up there. <laughs> I would pace around like, like this, like walk around, um, in the lobby, or something. Or was it outside? Nah, that's me again. And I would also. I would also flap my hands around, rock forward and backward, and eat in a very erratic manner. Since I was so tall, I would, um, for, for my age at the time, I would, um, I would bow my head in order to eat. Um, basically I had strange mannerisms. I would also make my own hands fight each other like this. Ooh, kung fu. Well, one teacher, my advisor at the time, made fun of me for it because I accidentally hurt myself. This is actually a silly story. I accidentally hurt myself for because of the hand fighting thing and my teacher made fun of me, almost made me cry. And when I almost cried, she said, oh, this is a joke. But for the rest of the year, they would make fun of me for it. Go on to grade 5, I met another teacher. Oh, wait, no, back to grade 4. There was a teacher who taught Filipino. Um, I did not understand Filipino at the time. And because of that, I... I was bullied for not being able to speak Filipino. For example, the word uh, Bintarador. <laughs> Bintarador. Still having pro tr tr trouble with it until to this day because of my stutter. Bintarador. I said Bintarador. Something like that, which is wrong. Very trivial mistake. She made fun of me for it. She wrote the word and she laughed out loud at me. And I cried. And no one cared, and everyone laughed. And growing older, I realized how messed up she was. I remember I was not paying attention. I was drawing something, or maybe playing with some crayons, poking them with my pen. Because I did not understand Filipino, I remember. Or either that, or I was both that and uninterested in what she was saying because of her personality. She grabbed my pen. And she whacked it over my head. She broke it into pieces. Then she broke it into the... F oh, no, no, no. She whacked it over my head and she did this to the floor and then whacked it to pieces. Growing up, I realized that that teacher was being abusive. But to be fair, the teacher had lost her daughter earlier that year. Do I blame her for such a tremendous amount of trauma I've received? No. She received trauma and she decided to 
her mistake, however, was placing it on one student that she particularly hated. It was not fair, but it is what it is. And I can't blame her either because she's lost a child. Another teacher, grade 5, would make fun of me for being acting similar to Mr. Bean because I had erratic movements. It was silly. He would say, tan, 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 tan. And he would say, ha, Mr. Bean ka? Or something like that. Hoy, Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean, something like that. It was rude. And eventually the whole class started calling me Mr. Bean and making fun of me. One time I cried. That's when he acted like the hero and said, please say sorry to Mr. Abbot Man. Mr. Master will say sorry to him. Um... He did. He did. Uh, th- that guy did. Sorry, Masaru. But he instigated it. He acted like, and he was, he was commended for it actually by the school. And not the school, like, but the other teachers. But y- you get what I mean. The faculty there. That's the word. And. Friggin' hate the teachers, man. What is the point of this video? I disagree with the idea of private institutions because of their incredibly strict rules. I mean, I am in a college right now, so I'm fine. It's technically a private institution, but it's more loose-loose there. One teacher even made me... To be fair, this is uh, is, uh, is due to strictness. It's due to... Um, cleanliness. The, my barber gave me a, the wrong haircut one time. The teacher made me go back to her office every single day, making me late for class. Just for a form. That kind of environment, I understand the teachers now and why they behave that way. Why I began behaving that way. It was because of the environment. It was too strict, it was too rigid lacks flexibility gives too much stress to its workers and its students I never agreed with the idea of um, religious Catholic institutions especially for elementary and high school but it's the law so I can't do anything about it but when you think about it it's affecting it very detrimentally the environment of how rigid and how toxic it can be with how the punishments are incredibly severe for the students and for the teachers even who don't comply with the rules it leads to some very detrimental effects one time I remember we were divided into sections the smartest would go to this highest area and the 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 ones with less uh, above average grades they would be placed in the lower sections boy did they hate that uh let's let's um let's fix it um maybe we should put then in the second floor yeah 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 let's put the 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 dumber kids into the second floor and the smarter kids in the lower floor that's that that'll make them feel happier it did not um, the, the students uh, proceeded to punch the walls. At first, it was due to stress, but later it was due to retaliation, I heard. Not sure though, but I'm pretty sure it was for retaliation. They started punching the walls, punching openings over the walls. It was wood, very thin plywood. And they would tear it open. They would vandalize they would attack us <laughs> i was one of the one of the smart sections no offense dude you would bully us even my own friends who were in those sections they practically pitted us together the school pitted us together what i'm trying to say is that these types of schools i hate them <laughs> i grew up with them and it ruined my experience it almost made me want to not have 
my relative who is younger than me, who I took care of since ever, from going to these schools. They're not fair. They don't treat their students fairly. Maybe it's changed nowadays. But the education system truly is flawed in the Philippines. Maybe it's more flawed in America. I don't know. All I know is that it really messed me up. It scarred me psychologically. All of those bullyings. There's way more. There's way more stories. Well, I just want to say, Philippines... Fix your crap. <laughs> Educational crap. But yeah. Aside from the... All the... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, the only reason why I enjoyed the school, aside from the uh, vandalizing, bullying, and um, horrific abuse part, well... My friends, they made me become stronger along the way. Even though they bullied me sometimes, but I love them. <laughs> My old friends from high school, they taught me to be stronger. We bonded. We fought. And it was a beautiful end. The last day when pandemic came. I miss those guys. They will always have a special place in my heart. Thank you.